Hi, my name is Jay Hughes. And I'm Brooke Sullivan. I'm Rafael Makababat. And we are the members of the Green Team from Level Sea Turtle. Our job as eco reporters for the Green Team is to find businesses, organizations, and other community members who are working hard to keep the green and green. Today we are talking to Chad Carwine, the Sustainability Coordinator of East Carolina University, who oversees the community garden located at 209 Stansel Drive. So Chad, how is Greenville's community garden helping to protect and preserve our environment? Well, it, uh, it's a space that has really grown. We started over there and it was very small and then through the help of Love Sea Turtle and some grants that we got, we've been able to expand into this much larger area. Um, all the food that we grow out here and harvest is donated to the Firstborn Community Center. Um, they have families that they give uh, uh, food out to about every other week. And so we've been able to offer fresh, local, organically grown uh, food um, to help, you know, with the food donations there at the First Point Center. So what are the different kind of plants do you plant here? Um, well, right now uh, we're, we're taking up some of the plants that we had from the spring, which was included peppers, tomatoes, beans, squash, eggplant, potatoes, things like that. And we're um, clearing it out. Uh, we're going to be adding some, some amendments to, to get our soil conditions just right. And then we're going to do our fall plantings. And the fall plantings will include everything from onions and garlic, which will grow all the way through the winter, um, through even if we get snow and ice and stuff, and we'll harvest those next spring. Some of the other things like leafy greens and lettuce and, and other types of um, vegetables like that we'll, we'll be able to harvest here in the next probably couple months. So as the sustainability coordinator for ECU, I've been on the job for about two and a half years and I'm, I get the opportunity to work with students, staff, and faculty, as well as community members, uh, to try and reduce the environmental impacts of the university. I do everything from taking a greenhouse gas emissions inventory every year, uh, doing guest lectures in classes, helping student organizations um, raise awareness on campus, and working with faculty on integrating sustainability into the curriculum. Um, you know, on an operations side, we're doing everything from energy efficiency, water conservation, waste reduction and recycling, helping out with transportation, food and dining. Um, every day is something different and, and it's really fun. What can we as citizens of Greenville do to help? Well, you know, there's things that you can do in your everyday life. Um, one of the, the easiest things for anybody to do is, is to recycle, obviously. I think, uh, you know, we all learn at a, at a young age, reduce, reuse, recycle. Um, so that's one thing. Um, also, you know, there's, uh, I, I'm on the Bicycle and Pedestrian Commission, and so I'm a huge advocate for cycling and, um, you know, biking to and from school or work as opposed to driving in a, in a vehicle by yourself. Um, or you could carpool or take the bus at home, changing your thermostat, you know, what, maybe wearing a sweater instead of cranking the heat up or, or letting, you know, not using as much air conditioning. Things like that, you know, if each of us do it, they add up and, and it really has a big impact um, collectively. Thank you, Chad. And thank you for help keeping the green in, in Greenville. Greenville. I want to thank the turtle team, uh, the green team of the Love of Sea Turtle for coming out here and visiting today. Uh, but it's a rite of passage and part of coming out to the garden is you got to do the, the pepper challenge. <laughs> Take a big old bite. Alright, one. Countdown. All right, I'll count. One, two, two three. three. Oh no. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, it's fresh. Ah. It's fresh too. <laughs> While our mouths are on fire and my leg is wrapped around a spiky plant, we're gonna... Oh, if you know anyone... Or any organization that can help keep the green in Greenville... Please contact Love a Sea Turtle at loveaseaturtle.suddenlink.net for more information. Thank you. <laughs>